Let's uh, get you some breaking news now coming in. We'll continue tracking the developments on that story. Former Maharashtra Home Minister Anil Deshmukh has been granted bail by the Bombay High Court in the alleged money laundering case filed by the Enforcement Directorate. So it's a big relief for Anil Deshmukh. Uh, bail has been granted to Anil Deshmukh in the ED case, but he will remain behind bars as of now because of the CBI case that he is also facing. His counsel will now be applying for a bail in the CBI case as well. So for Anil Deshmukh, a big relief coming in. Radhika is joining us over the phone line with more details on this. Radhika, big relief, uh, but as of now, he will have to remain behind bars and uh, his counsel will be approaching uh, for bail in another case by the CBI as well. What are the details? The Bombay High Court has granted bail to former Maharashtra Home Minister Anil Deshmukh in the alleged money laundering case filed by Enforcement Directorate. Um, now, this is for a surety of rupees 1 lakh and, and certain other conditions have also been put by the judge such as he shouldn't tamper with the evidence once he's out on bail and so on. We'll have to wait for the detailed order uh, to look at the grounds. Yes, he will remain behind uh, bars as of now because CBI uh, case is still, uh, you know, applicable at the moment. He hasn't been uh, granted bail in the CBI case. The counsels informed the court that they will immediately move an application um, uh, seeking bail in the CBI matter as well. So he will not be out of prison immediately um, as uh, he is still behind bars for the CBI matter. But in the alleged money laundering case um, uh, filed by enforcement director, he has been granted bail. In fact, earlier the Supreme Court had directed the Bombay High Court to hear and decide um, his plea expeditiously as it was pending for several months. And, uh, uh, you know, arguments had happened over a period of two to three days. Uh, Deshmukh Council had also argued that uh, his client had been suffering from various ailments, including lung and spinal disorders, and also saying that he was falsely implicated in the case and that it was um, Parampir Singh, the former Mumbai Police Commissioner, on whose instructions this alleged extortion amount was collected and so on. So arguments were made for a few days, after which, of course, today uh, the order was reserved, and now Anil Deshmukh has been granted bail in the enforcement directed case by the Bombay High Court. Um, the his counsel will be uh, applying for bail in the CBI case as well. As of now, he will uh, continue to remain behind bars. Okay, all right. But when his uh, bail was rejected previously, Radhika, uh, it was on the grounds that prima facie the proof pointed towards him using undue influence, uh, his influence to influence the case. So that was what worked against him previously. Any observations that the court made this time around while granting bail to him? Well, as of now, the observation made was that uh, there isn't enough material to say that he had misused his official position uh, and collected that much uh, money from various bars and restaurants and that it was channeled uh, to another uh, sansthan. So that is something that was observed, that there is not enough material uh, to prove certain charges. However, the last time, of course, his bail was rejected uh, by the uh, uh, you know lower court. Uh, and at that time, of course, it was observed that uh, he had, in fact, misused his official position and that uh, he had uh, okay. channeled uh, that money to the Nagpur Bay sansthan as well. Okay. All right. Radhika, thank you for joining us with those details. We're shifting our focus now to... Uh